The PBX Autoper Vision feature simplifies the process of configuring multiple P-Series cloud edition and remotely connected P-Series appliance edition and software edition. With this feature, you can create a template that includes all the settings and configurations you want to apply to your PBXs. Then, you can easily apply the template to multiple PBXs at once, reducing the time and effort required for manual configuration. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, in this video, we will show you how to make templates and how to use them to automatically configure your PBXs. First of all, please make sure to upgrade your PBX to the latest version. Then, to have this feature, you need to also subscribe to Remote Management Premium. You can log into your Yaystar Panda portal and find it. Then, just jump directly into YCM to start creating your template. Find Repository, then go to Provisioning Template. Here, we click on Add to Create a Template. First, we put in the basic information about this template. Put in anything you need to identify this template. Then, we move on to configuration items. Here, we can include all configurations we need. We start with extensions. We can decide how many extensions do we want to create and their extension number. Then, we can go on to further configure the extensions with voicemails, notifications, recordings, and presence, as well as enabling Link as client for this extension. Then in Chunks, we can create zip chunks. Here we can choose to either create this chunk for P-Series Appliance Edition and Software Edition or Cloud Edition. Then we can do other necessary configurations to guarantee the connection. Then we can go on with Call Controls, Call Features, and PBX System Settings. When you're done with all the parameters, click on Save. The template is successfully created. Then we can apply these templates to all PBXs we have connected to YCM. For Cloud Edition, all Cloud PBXs created from this YCM can be applied directly. And for PAE and PSE, as for their all local devices, we'll need to manually add them to YCM. Go to Device, then click on My Devices. Here we can click on Add to assign a new PBX to our YCM, put in the device name, and assign them to your group if needed. Then we must check Allow Provisioning via Template. Otherwise, we won't be able to do the PBX Auto Provision with the equipment. Then we check Verify Serial Number and MAC Address. Here we can put in the SN code and MAC address, so the YCM will permit this connection. When you're down, click on Save. Then the system will automatically generate an authentication code. We can copy this code or have it sent to our email. We need this code to complete the connection. Now we can go to the PBX Admin Interface and in System, find Remote Management. Here we can choose Authentication and use the code we just obtained to finish the connecting our PBX to YCM. Now let's go back and check. The PBX has been added and connected. Now we can create a task to apply our template to the assigned PBXs. Go to Task and select Schedule Task. Then click on Add. In Task, select Provision. Here we can name this task. Then choose the PBX type. And select our template. Now we can decide to execute the provisioning immediately or at a pointed time. Then at last, we choose the PBXs which we want to use the template. We can choose multiple PBXs. All selected PBXs can be configured according to the template all at once. When everything's down, click on Save. Now the task will be completed automatically. Well, all right, guys, that was how we realized PBX auto provisioning through YCM. Hope you guys like it. Well, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Need more details? Visit yaystar.com.